Welcome to The Last Drop, I am Chris. How are you all doing today? Um, good to see you, thanks for watching. Uh, today is another cognac. Uh, really getting back into my cognacs because I think you guys need to drink more of them. Uh, and yeah, go out and try them. Today is Bache Gabrielson. I think that's how you pronounce it, I could be wrong, but Bache Gabrielson. Uh, this is one of the first ones I tried at the Cognac show back in May of this year, 2019. Um, with uh, Johnny from Spirits People. Thanks for the hat, dude. Uh, yeah, so that's that's one of the first ones I tried at the Cognac show earlier this year. Uh, so that was good. Um, bit of background about this one. This one is the Pure and Rustic VSOP. Now... BSOP, so it's a minimum of four years. However, this one they suggest that it's in oak casks for around around eight years. Now, that's pretty good going, isn't it? Because minimum four years for BSOP. Um, so if they're doing eight, that's pretty good. That's up there. That's almost close to the ten years requirement for an XO. Um, so that's good. So. There's got to be eight year old stuff in this. Um, maybe there is young, there probably is younger stuff in there just to make up stock. But yeah, if there's eight year old stuff in there, that is really, really good. Um, it is 75% fin bois and 25% borderies uh, in the mix. Um, so that's, that's an interesting little mixture. Uh, it almost reminds me of like a cognac, um, not a cognac, a bourbon uh, mash bill almost, you know. It's got to be minimum 51% of corn, blah, 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 blah. Um, so yeah, this is, yeah, Gabriel Brack, uh, Backer Gabrielson. Um, so it was founded by a guy called Thomas Backer Gabrielson from Holmstrand in 1905. Uh, and it's stayed in the um, family ever since. Um, so it's now run by their grandson, Harvey. Uh, and it also has a cellar master as well, so that's pretty cool. Uh, and that's Jean-Philippe Bergier. So, there we go. Um, number one about uh, Backer Gabrielson, they do an American oak version of their cognac. Um, so you're going to get that high vanilla note, if memory serves me. Um, it, like I said earlier, it's one of the first ones that I tried at the cognac show. and. Yeah, it's a great little gateway. I think if you're transitioning from bourbon to cognac or whiskey to cognac, uh, it's a nice little gateway. And that's one I definitely recommend out you go and try. Uh, let's get back to this one. Uh, it is the Pure and Rustic VSOP. Let's see what we got. Ooh, so, quite fruity. So let's say you get some, maybe some more green fruits on there, uh, along with the raisins. Some sort of orchard fruit going on, I think. Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, some sort of green apples, maybe? Yeah, so pretty good nose. Maybe a bit of bacon spice at the back. Pretty good, nice little nose that. VSOP, so I'm expecting this one to be quite smooth on the palate. Surprisingly not. Mm. Quite light actually, um, a bit florally, yeah, a bit sort of, yeah, floral on the palate I guess. Bit of, bit of length. I'm wondering whether it's, like it says, pure and rustic. Uh, it does seem lighter, uh, if that makes sense. Um, so not a heavy, 
dense flavour like you get with some, maybe like that, the bigger boys have a bit more sugar in it on E150 um, to give a bit more rounded sweetness, whereas this maybe is coming like directly out of the barrel. So it's very fresh. Uh, great little fresh cognac, to be honest. Not getting a lot of gauge, to be honest. It seems, still seems quite youthful. Uh, Finish-wise, it's quite lengthy, but there's definitely a distinct flavour compared to other cognacs. Um, so yeah, very. It's very interesting. I'm, I'm really get sort of getting into it, to be honest. Yeah, there's sort of stuff popping out and dodging. What's going on? But yeah, that's really nice. I like that. Much more delicate. Not like me. I'm not delicate kind of guy, am I? <laughs> but yeah, lovely, lovely, gentle aroma. Get those slight raisiny notes, bit of floral. Yeah, ripe fruits. Sort of, yeah, apple, orchardy fruits, really. Yeah, really, really nice. Not really nice, really, really nice. It is actually really nice. I know I say really nice a lot, but it, it, I'm not going to buy rubbish, am I? So, I mean, I might do one day. Yeah, lovely little, uh, a lovely bouquet. Yeah, cheers, Becca. It's probably Bache, isn't it? Bache Gabrielism. Not very good with the French names, but <laughs> you know, I should get um, Greg from Greg's Whiskey Guide to like send me sound bites of the, how to pronounce these names or something like that, and then just like mouth them as he's like. Input on the screen. <laughs> Bushy, pepper is that something. Something like that. That'd be cool, wouldn't it? <laughs> it wouldn't be cool. Uh, that's a really nice cognac. Uh, a bit more depth. Um, might leave that open up for a minute. See how it goes. But um, again, thank you for watching. Uh, please uh, hit subscribe if you like the content. Uh, I'll be doing more cognacs. Uh, more rums and more whiskies. Uh, but yeah, hopefully you'll yeah. If you like it, hit this. Yeah, do all that jazz. You know what? You know what you're doing. If you think you like it, don't you know? But come back and watch the next one. Uh, it'd be cool next week sometime. But yeah, that was the last drop.